going everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, oops, The Wind Waker. <laughs> In the last episode? Uh oh, oh, I was not watching for that was. Ooh, sounds like we're right on top of it though. In the last episode, we finished up with Windfall Island, and now we're gonna see the legendary treasure that's been awakened here at Windfall Island. Oh my god, oh my god, this would be so amazing, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> A purple what? You got a purple ruby. It's worth 50 rupees. That's just great. What? They changed it? Oh man! In the original game, that was a that was a green ruby, and it was amazing, and I loved it very much. It was the best troll ever. It's fantastic. I am very disappointed in Nintendo. Why would you change that? I'm so sad. <sighs> Anyways, uh, now we're done with that bull crap. Bull crap, yo. Hey, we want to go more this way, do we? Ha <laughs> ha. We do indeed. Okay, so incredible chair. Actually, let's take a look there and make sure we're not. Okay, yeah, we we have a very long way to go before we get to any, anywhere. If we get anywhere near, oh, there's no more platforms this place either in this row. We have a long time to go before we get anywhere near another um, Triforce piece. Hmm. Looking for an island in this sector. It's weird how tiny these islands are. Sometimes you can't even tell which way you need to go. There's a tiny island over the yonder. Is that the correct direction? Nope, that's going south. In fact, what island is that? I'm kind of curious now. Tingle Island. Oh, really? Interesting. All right. So, oh, oh, that's mother and child. And so maybe over here is this it? No, that's another uh, uh, fairy island. Looks. Oh, there it is, right there. No idea what this island is. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been to this place before. I don't think we would have ever sailed towards this way anyways. Um, there's actually an item. I'm not entirely sure where to get in this game now. Ooh. What? Oh, I know what the place this is. Oh, I did not expect this to be here. Oh, I said that with a cool accent. I did not expect this place to be here. <laughs> That's kind of cool when that happens. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if I just like randomly developed a British accent that I couldn't even help? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Not really. I mean, it'd be really weird. They're like, oh my god, you're from Britain, aren't you? I'm like, no, I'm just Canadian. I'm just, I just developed this. I don't know. I have some kind of weird affliction. You got a civil rippy. One is worth whopping towards rippies. Time to jump for joy. I wonder if you can like force yourself to an accent. Like, if I talk like that, like for a year, would would it would I develop it? Like, would it just become a thing I would do? If I remember, aha, yeah, I thought that's where the blue chew was on this island. I remember reading that and be like, there's a chew under a bridge. Weird. Anyway, this island's really cool. I enjoy it a lot. Uh-oh. I need to get back up now, please. Thank you. No, come on! Uh, uh, I can't do it! I can't! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Is the blue chew still coming towards me? No, we just kind of stuck there. Come on, CC Link! Jeez. Stop being a butt. Alright, let's see what this freaking bottle says. I'm magical! Whee! <laughs> that's awesome. So many happies. Shit. Oh, there's a pot in there. Ah, oh, that's cool. What do you say? Whoa. This way, the northern fairy island is to the north. I said that weird, but whatever. Uh, oh. The blue, there's the blue chew again, you guys. So what could be on this island, you might be asking? Oh. So another one over here. Oh, that's cool. They have this own little, little island as well. That is the best. My phone just gave me a low battery display. Ooh, there's a hidden pot behind here. There's better have some good. Another blue poopy hay. Hmm. What happened if I rolled into this tree? Oh, those trees felt very mysterious to me. Head west for me to reach Mother and Child Isles. Is there not? Is not? Is that not what the other sign said? I guess not. Is there sign under the bridge as well? No, there's not. All right. We're gonna listen to this monster music playing the entire time we're here. Now I don't want to kill a chew. Uh, is there nothing special in these barrels? Wow, that was a short rainstorm. That's okay. It's better to do this place place without it raining, anyways. It's all sunny again. Yay! Oh no! Oh, what what are you doing here, guy? Oh no! You will destroy your buckets you probably use to collect rainwater. Your only source of water. Does he have a hairy chest? He has a hairy chest. A swirly hairy chest. I thought we talked to him from this. Oh, he can't. Oh, that's cool. They don't let you talk to him unless you're on like the correct side of him. There's a cannon over here. That's cool. Right. Ah! Oh, never mind. My mistake. Yeah, yeah. Step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? 50 rupees per game. Want to try? You bet. All right, now then. 
Ho ho ho! So your little shrimp who thinks he's target shooting, shooting hot shot, yeah? And you say this knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when they step into the room? Ha! Fine, this should be funny. Fine then, hotshot. If you imagine seeing five pirate ships you see on the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with the cannon, you shrimpy little landlubber. However, won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels. You only get ten shots, you heard me? You can move your cannon with- yeah, yeah. Fire carefully. You got it, shrimp? I got it, I guess. You manage to sink all five pirate ships and I'll give you treasure with- We've stolen up until now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You'll need it, yeah? So we got ten shots. Make them count. Mm, mm. Oh, we got a little angle thing there. Five pirate ships. Let's try... Okay, this thing looks pretty close. So let's try 26 degrees. Oh, it's cool out there. Okay, that was way too far. That. Eh. Yeah! Okay, so now we could use that to judge... How far the other ones are. So that one looks closer. Oh, we can't go any lower than 15 degrees. Okay, well that makes that pretty obvious then. So 15. Let's go up to maybe 20 for that next one. 21. Ooh, a little bit farther. 23. It's it's probably good done in like... Oh, maybe not. Let's just say maybe down in like fives, like 23. Let's go to ooh, 30. Oh, 29 might not be good. Oh, look at that. Jeez. That one I feel is pretty freaking far. Let's go like 40. Might not be far enough. Uh, oh, yeah. It's 40. Uh, let's go more 47-ish. Ooh, holy crap. Gee, okay, it's full 50. Gotcha. So, looks like they do one at like maximum distance and one at minimum distance. And then another you know, three are just whatever. Psh, wow, nice shooting. We won't hand over our priceless treasure so easily, yeah? Miss! Hey, miss! Gonzo, you're at least an honorary member of our family, are you not? So act like it, don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid. I like you. As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. <laughs> you got a piece of heart! Click three so far. Click home and increase your life energy by one heart. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave via the ladder behind you. Climb down in an orderly manner, if you please. I think there's actually another thing we can get by playing this game again. I'm going to check my lists again just to make sure. Hey, look at this flag. That's really cool. He has his own little flag. Huh. Cool. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to check my lists. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, you actually can win another prize if you do it again. Eh? 50 rupees per game. Want to try? All right, now then. If you manage to take all five power chips, we'll give you the treasure we've solved it to now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You'll need it, yeah? Ooh, this is different from before. Uh, well, okay. We know that far away one's going to be maximum angle. So it looks like it's just as far away. So let's try it. Yeah. All right, that one looks pretty, well. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's start going with the short ones again. 25 degrees. Eh. Dang it. Too far. We tried so far and got so fart. Sorry, that's a stupid joke. Okay, I was gonna say. Uh, that looks like it's a little farther away. Hey, look, it's the fish. I wonder if we can hit the fish. I think we might be able to. Dang it. I was gonna say, it'd be cool if we could beat this game with a perfect score. Okay, great. So, 17. Let's try. 28. And that wasn't even completely sent. Dang it. Oh, that's definitely 30. And... You can hear the chew if you listen carefully in the background. <laughs> it doesn't look that much farther away. If I lose this, that would be disappointing. No, weren't it? That's definitely 40. And... Yeah! One shot left. Wait a second! Miss! Miss! What do you want? Don't you know how to keep quiet, you scurvy dog? Oh, I was just wondering who was out here. And look at this, it's you again. Look at you, all adorably, with that adorable cute face of yours. I can help but give away our treasure to you. It's yours, so take it. Oh! You got your shy! Open the shot on the map screen and stuff. I like how his little levers on his pad thing as well, his control panel. Nice job and all that. Yeah, yeah, you sit all day. 
So yeah, apparently it started with El Salvador over here. His, uh, or Salvador? Maybe his name just... I don't think it's El Salvador. The Salvador. But I think uh, since we paid him a bunch of money in Windfall Island to play his games, I think that's the story as, as to why he has this island shop as well now. Because yeah, it was such a big blast and made so much money that he was able to open up a second store. Yay! <laughs> so that's the story of him, apparently. Ooh, is the fish over there? That was over here, yeah. I guess I just saw a wind. I thought I saw a splash, though. I guess I just saw a single wind. Hello, fish. Ooh, uh, I'm just thinking, I don't see no uh, ring of light here that would be from a treasure chart. I'm just thinking, what if there's treasure charts that when you got them from the sea, like they gave you other treasure charts? Wouldn't that just be hilarious and kind of silly, but mostly hilarious? Boy, smart friend! Yeah, yeah, I'll open up my sea chart. Gee, sucker, you'd think Link would just know to do this at this point. I guess he doesn't want to be rude, you know. Spectacle Isle! It looks like a cannon. That's cool. I've never noticed that before. Beware the knights when the crescent moon faces up. So I can tell you, small fry. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Do you know what that means? I certainly do. Ha ha! Wait, well, what moon? What moon is it? What moon? Hello? I don't see a moon. I don't, what? Where's the moon? There it is. That's a half moon. Alright, uh, let's phase cats okay, Windfall Island. So, oh, there we go. I believe Mother and Child Island is the next island, right? Yes, it is. Let's go take a look. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we should stop by Beetles for a second here. Uh, I'm going to go buy more bait. Because I just can't help but bait, you know. Ang Beetles' angry face, honestly. Oh, you know what, though? Alright, I'm not going to buy more bait. I'm actually going to buy a Hoi Pair. And I would cut this out, but we're about to hit 30 things we've bought from him. So, I'm going to show that. Buy another Hoi Pair. Since we are going to find an island. Oh! Oh, you saved up 30 points! You've earned a silver membership! With Electra's gift to all silver members, that's the least we could do. Sign it to you shortly, it should be arriving at a post box near you any day. Promise me you'll wait anxiously for it. Next, try to earn our gold membership. Bye. I don't remember how many points that is, it might be 60. I hope it's not like 100 or something stupid like that. I'm gonna get all those by the end of this game, which is gonna be a pain since I'm gonna just end up having to buy. You know what? I could buy bombs over and over again. Maybe that would be best. That'd be expensive as well. Hmm. Maybe I'll just end up having to buy a bunch of bait and just throw it on the ground. I think it's a Forsaken Fortress over there, isn't it? Yeah. Mine! Alright, let's see what we got. My car. Oh, cool. Someone went back and took a picture of him after the cutscene. That's cool, man. Alright, so we don't have very much to do here. Oh, I never did check and make sure that there wasn't another... Oh boy, I didn't see exactly where that was. Maybe this swell over here. No! I think they were too far away now. I think it was like in the middle here. Like right here. Maybe that'll be good. Yeah, thank the Lord. Thank the Lloyd. So we're not very much about Mother and Child Isle. As you can imagine, since the big attraction here is in the when you teleport here in the middle of the islands. We got a silver rupee! 200 rupees and stuff. Yeah! Alright, we're already halfway to filling our wallets. However, there's something new. Oh no, there's something new. Oh, I thought I thought I thought there was a guy on this ship. He's on the island there. I don't know if you guys got a good look at him, but he's a different dude that we've never seen before. Ah, uh, screw you, boat. So they say I'll just move my boat to the island so I don't have to swim as far to get to him. But screw it. <laughs> but screw. Alright. Oh yeah, there's this dude over here. Oh, we gotta do that still as well. Jeez, I'm, that's another side quest. I'm not... No, god dang it, I keep killing those guys. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This guy looks suspicious. I cast a leaf on you. <gasps> it's a Garon! It's wearing a hat for some reason. How are they still alive? What the balls? Does, does leaf push me back? Oh, I guess it does. No, no, I said before. Anyways, let's talk to him. I'm what's, called, I'm what's called a traveling merchant, just a poor wanderer cruising, poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of sorts, new and old, strange and unsettling. I detected a scent away wafting from this island that suggested me to, that there might be something to value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all the way, all this way from far, far away. But on the high rock wall on the main island, box my way. So it seems as though I won't be able to make it get any farther. What's a dis, what a disagreeable turn of events. 
However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might be home to a rare and unique items. If you have any cur curious, curious, if you have any curious that might be worthy of selling in a shop, you might you trade them to me. Same day, I'm gonna open up a, myself a shop, a huge shop. No, a mega superstore. I'm trying to find goods to sell. So can you show me what you've got on you? I could. I feel kind of bad for saying no, but no, <laughs> not yet. Anyways, I will be Mr. Dude. Just sit tight. Also, check out, check out the pattern on his backpack. It's the Goron Ruby symbol, or the Goron symbol, I guess. I don't freaking know. Uh, anyways, that's really the only other thing on this island. Is that dude? But we will be here quite a bit when we do the mother or the the side quest pertain pertaining to that. So that's it for this place. Ooh, are we about to make it to our first? I think that's our first reef over there. Am I right? I am right. I'm always right. I'm Chris. Synonymous with the word right. Synonymous the correct word user. I don't freaking know. You tell me. Hey, look, there's ships over here. Holy ship! Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? I certainly do. All right. Whoa, jeez! Holy cool! That boosted me. That was awesome. Actually, I might have. I might just jump from the crest of a wave here. That's one thing you can do. Is if you have the top of a wave, you jump. You'll jump. Your your jump will get a lot more air than usual. The opposite is true, obviously. Oh, that's so awesome! I love that. All right. So this is the first reef we'll be doing. And I remember as a kid, all oh, these islands have one of the best memories for me. Oh wait, where's the fish? Oh, I think there's a, I think we got a, oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. I thought maybe that was just a barrel with a white flag on it for a second. But alas, there's not, no such thing. All right. Eat it, eat it, fish. Eat, eat it, eat it, fish. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Oh, have you, have you? Uh-huh, I don't think you've heard. The, 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 the bird, bur I'm sorry. I am so sorry, you guys. You have no idea. Woo! Alrighty. Seeing those weird rings of light that appear on the surface of the sea, haven't you, small fry? Did you know that some rings only appear at night? Didn't think so. Yeah, I knew that. That's all the info I've got to offer. Go out some bait, throw it in the water, and eat on empty stomach and all that. Okay, so these reefs. I was never able to beat any of these as a kid. Actually, I think this will be the first time I ever beat them since I never did discover the secret to them. Until after, like, YouTube, after I started watching Let's Plays and all that. And these are probably the rings. Oh, yep, I was going to say, that's the rings he was talking about. I don't know if they just maybe give you more rupees or something like that. Because the, the water ones already give you. Holy cow, they had two hearts of damage. What the heck? Jeez. Alright, so. I always knew, like, coming here. Well, I didn't know this. But I thought, okay, I'll just destroy these ships. See if anything comes of this island. Because, you know, I wasn't completely stupid. I knew that destroying enemies in Zelda games would sometimes cause a a, um, a thing to appear. Like a treasure chest to appear. Or like a cave or something. Ow, asshole. Oh, boy. Jeez, this is going crazy. Okay. Whoa! Holy shiz! Jeez, I'm almost dead. What, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, these guys have pretty good aim. I'm almost dead. You might kill me. Okay, great. Eh... I do it there we go okay so these cannons on the sides of these rocks i had no idea that you could break kill those i thought those were just unkillable enemies because i mean they don't look like things you could destroy right well i mean i'm destroying with the cannon so i'm gonna think well obviously you can i mean you can but it, to me it was never felt like an obvious thing wow the forsaken fortress looks very foreboding in the background it's like a giant tree raising up from the ocean or something very reminiscent of like the forbidden woods or something all right so uh you know what, I will explain the story now. As a kid, one of my best memories I have of this place is walking from one side of the reef to another. Um, I remember we were about to go on a trip from my... Um, the country town I used to live in all the way back to the to the city I was born in. So, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and even say the city just to make it less confusing. Okay, so Grandview was a small farm town I did most of my growing up in. Um, I, I, I was born in city winnipeg which is four hours away from that and i currently live in the winnipeg but i remember in grandview playing this game the lights were off it was like a summer morning no god dang it that would happen it's because i'm trying to go faster by rolling in a while i still can't believe how much life those things took off and jeez i feel like they're taking off like four hearts each or some crap i'm probably not gonna even make it back there wow 
Anyway, well, I can't tell that story while I'm swimming and drowning. That's completely the, the opposite of reminiscing. <laughs> I'm not going to even make it. Oh, no. Oh. It better not respawn the enemies. It's going to respawn the enemies, isn't it? Oh, I'm so close. Oh, maybe not. Did I go the wrong way? The enemies better not respawn. Did, 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 did. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I got the rupees. I got the rupees. Okay. Where's the entrance to this island? Come on. Wow, what a way to ruin my story. That sucks, mate. Uh-oh. That better not that better not hit me. Yeah, hey, where did I oh I was gonna say where did I lose a half heart, but probably for me. Oh, they did respawn. That sucks. I think the treasure chest is still gonna be there though. Yeah, they totally did respawn. Anyways, we're about to go from Grandview to Winnipeg. Okay, it is still there, thank god. <laughs> And yeah, I was in my room playing this game in the dark, and I remember just like, okay, we gotta go, sweetie, it's time to go to Winnipeg. And I was, I don't know, just like running around these reefs, like in pure amazement of like how big this island really is compared to what it looked like. And um, just how confused I was at its very existence, because I had no idea how the balls to beat this island. But I guess that's really all I had for my story. <laughs> That sucks. I'm so sad that me accidentally jumping off completely ruined it. And these bombs better not hit me. If I die, I swear I'm mom mate. Whoa! Then again, I would have to get hit by him quite a few times. I do have two fairies now. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I know where to go from. Stop raining, damn it! So these oddly shaped like ledges here are um, supposed to be hints to where you could possibly jump off. To uh, Deku Leaf to the treasure chest, and yeah, I feel like even if, <coughs> whoa, I almost jumped off again. I feel like even if I ever like discovered that you get that treasure chest, I kind of feel like I would never figure it out. You could Deku Leaf to them. I don't know. It's like you would think, okay, it's pretty obvious you could Deku Leaf to those islands. All right, just wanted to make sure I was gonna press the right button here. Is that a, I thought I saw a draft up there or a uh, whirlwind or something. Whoa, geez, that's that was pretty close. And let's open it up and get ourselves some treasure chest. Uh -huh. All right, we got a treasure chest. So most of the treasure chests we actually get from the reefs will, when you pull up the treasure, will actually give you something like significant. Hey, it stopped raining. Let the rain fall. Oh, I can't get that to that bottom. Wait, can I just swim up here? I know on some reefs, like we couldn't have just jumped on this side, right? Okay, I was gonna say on some reefs you can't. You have to jump. You have to walk all the way around, which is kind of a dick move by Nintendo, but it's still kind of funny. According to, like, well, real life, too, I was going to say, these reefs are the start of, like, new islands and all that. You know, coral reefs and all that. Okay, I guess I'm going to call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe when you're ready. My name's Chris, and the next one, we're going to... And the mailman just came, as per usual, as I'm recording. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll start on the third row. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.